Hello everyone. In today's video, I'm excited to do something we haven't done in quite a while. We are going to do an unboxing. And not just any unboxing of random run-of-the-mill bullion that you see over and over and over again. But we're going to be unboxing a brand new product. It's right here in this white box. Vault Box Series 5. I just received this late yesterday. We're going to tear into it together to see what's inside to see if we scored any red core hits. This little box right here cost almost $1,300. So boy, I hope we got some good stuff inside. Stick around to find out. Hey everyone, thanks for sticking around. As promised, we're going to be unboxing this Vault Box Series 5. I'm going to put this video up as quickly as I can get it recorded and do minimal or maybe even no editing. Uh, that way you'll get this in a timely manner because it won't be long and there'll be many, many videos of these Vault Box Series 5 unboxings up on YouTube. So I'll try to get mine out quick uh, so you can see if I did well or if it was another dud. Uh, this is Vault Box Series 5, uh, the first four Vault Box Series. I did purchase some from each of the series. I have yet to score a red core. What is a red core? Well, that's one of the valuable coins. It has a red background within the holder. And uh, boy, for almost $1,300, I hope there's one inside this box today. So I already took the liberty of cutting the tape. So we can just open it up. Get this box out of the way. So here's what it looks like. This is a box. Now there's three packs per box and there's one coin per pack. So inside this box, there are no more or no less than three coins. So hopefully we got some good ones, but hey, look at this one. You can get a 1907 high relief $20 gold St. Gaudens with flat rim, you know, without looking it up in an MS 65 without looking it up. I'm not sure the value of that, but I'm guessing it's well into five figures. Some other major hits, there's an 1879 proof set of 13 coins, an 1879 dollar, an 1893 S Morgan, a 1795 half dime. So yeah, a lot of cool collectible coins in this series. So without further ado, we're going to cut into this and see how we did. On the last one I did, I took the time to weigh out the boxes. I think I'm going to do that again, although I did have some frustrated people in the comments. Just open the boxes already! Well, if you're impatient, and that's okay, uh, YouTube does have this feature where you can skip ahead. So you don't need to watch me weigh them if you don't want to. So we're going to turn, oh well here, we're going to cut this seal here. And like I said, I, I like these. I like the concept. I've just had really poor luck uh, because I have lost money every single time on these. But it hasn't stopped me from trying again. So here we go. We got our three vault boxes outside of our outer packaging. I'll put that off to the side just to do a quick weighing and see if we can notice some discrepancies within the boxes. Unless they put a filler inside to kind of screw you or not screw you, uh, trick you uh, with the weight of the boxes. Uh, we should have an idea of if these are similar or different coins. So that first one was just under 134 grams. The second one about 141 and a half grams. Third one, 123.82 grams. So why don't we start with the lightest first? We will go lightest to heaviest. Get the scale out of the way. So this is the lightest box. So what could be in the lightest box? Well, more than likely it's a smaller coin. And it looks like there's not even a seal because we already broke the seal on the outer pack. So this will go pretty quick for those of you who are uh, excited like I am to see. So it looks like we got a $25 off code, uh, which is pretty cool. Well, this is different. It's a black core, so it's not a super valuable one, but it's a 1920 Mercury Dime Mint Error AU55 Broad Struck. Uh, what does Broad Struck mean? If you can see this in the video. See the, the error there? See the ring on the coin inside the rim? 
That's what broad struck looks like. Well, here we go, the back makes it even more obvious. I'm not sure if something like this will show up well on camera, but you can leave it down in the comments if you could tell what the heck I was trying to show you. Uh, but that's cool. I can tell you I've never had one of these before. Um, in terms of value, I'm going to put it up on the screen here because off camera I'm going to do the scan and see what their vault box buyback price is. And uh, we'll see if we did well or not, but I think really to come out ahead you really need a red core. So that was number one, smaller, lighter box, smaller coin. So here's box number two. Now this is curious. This one actually has a seal on it where the other ones don't. So cross your fingers. Maybe that's a good sign that there's something good in here. Oop, I didn't get that cut all the way. But yeah, in theory, it shouldn't be a dime coin. It should be something a little bigger because this box weighed about 10 and a half grams more. Okay, so celebrating one year of vault box. God, it's been one year. They had five series. Ooh, we got a red core, our first red core in five attempts. And I can't tell you, well, I could, because you could watch the videos back, but we've spent thousands of dollars trying to get a red core hit in this series. This might be the giveaway. The inner box had a seal on it. So if you have an inner box within your vault box that has a seal and you open it up and yours is a red core too, Make sure you leave that in the comments because I'm curious if that's kind of the giveaway. This is a beautiful coin. This is an 1880 trade dollar in proof 50. I can tell you I have never owned a proof trade dollar. But yeah, that's a really, really cool piece. And once again, I'll do the scan here and I'll put the value up on the screen. We'll see how we did. I have a feeling now that we have a red core, it's possible we might actually come out ahead <laughs> and not behind. So uh, these actually got delivered to my home uh, yesterday while I was at the coin shop. I got an alert that uh, my wife had signed for a package, so I sent her a message. She said, yeah, something came for you. And I said, I don't know what that is. I wasn't expecting anything at the house. Um, I forgot I had these sent to the house, but long story short, I asked her to open it and she opened it up and saw who it was from. She said, oh, it's those coins where you always lose money. <laughs> I said, oh yeah, that's right. So here's, uh, here's the third one. We got the NGCX conversion chart. That's how we convert the two digit scale into the, or the one through 70 scale into the one through 10 scale, the modern coins on NGCX. Looks like we got a 1991 American Silver Eagle, 9.9, .9, so it's comparable to a Mint State 69. Honestly, nothing I'm too excited about, but boy, here's our hits today. We have an error dime, which depending on the market, could be pretty high priced. We have an 1880 proof 50 trade dollar, which is in a red core, and like I said, I'll put all the values up on the screen here, and then we got a 1991 mint state 9.9 .9 american silver eagle so i'm excited this is the first time ever as i said that we got a red core it only took five tries <laughs> but we got one but i appreciate you all tuning in uh, right now is when i'm going to put up the values and how we did and the breakdown these uh, vault boxes or this particular one with shipping cost one thousand two hundred seventy eight dollars and 95 cents. So did we come out ahead? I'm putting it up there right now. I have a feeling we're maybe close because I know that proof trade dollar isn't cheap. But hey, I appreciate you all tuning in. If uh, you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Give the video a like. Feel free to share and comment as well. Anything you do in that regard helps get this video more exposure and out to more people so they can share in the excitement or the regret when I do things like these vault box unboxings. And uh, up until today, it's been mostly regret, but I'm excited about it today. Thanks so much for tuning in. You all have a great day.